The evidence about the new COVID variant and rising infection rates have required some immediate adjustment to our plans for the new term. This is, of course, a rapidly shifting situation, but some things remain constant. We continue to act to preserve lives and safeguard the National Health Service. And we continue to protect education by putting children first. Accordingly, we'll be opening the majority of primary schools as planned on Monday the 4th of January. We know how vitally important it is for younger children to be in school for their education, well-being and wider development. In a small number of areas where the infection rates are highest, we will implement our existing contingency framework, such as only vulnerable children and children of critical workers will attend face-to-face. -face. We will publish this list of areas today on the gov.uk website. I'd like to emphasise that this is being used only as a last resort. This is not all Tier 4 areas and that the majority, the overwhelming majority of primary schools will open as planned on Monday. We have already announced our intention for a staggered return to education for this term for secondary age pupils and those in colleges. Because the COVID infection rate is particularly high among this age group, we are going to allow more time so that every school and college is able to fully roll out testing for all of its pupils and, uh, and staff. I would like to thank school leaders and staff for all of their ongoing work in preparing this. This kind of mass testing will help protect not just children and young people, it will benefit everyone in the community. It will break those chains of transmission that are making infection rates shoot up. This, in turn, will make it safer for more children to physically return to school. All pupils in exam years are to return during the week beginning the 11th of January, with all secondary school and college students returning full-time on the 18th of January. 